What's goody people? It's your boy. I'm back. Back in the building. Lionheart. I never missed a step. Did you miss me? Guess what? I missed myself. So you must have missed me. No wasting time. Let's go. Get straight into it. Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. First of all, Square Enix love you. Quickly, we're going to address Final Fantasy 13. Good story. Very linear. Very irritating. Irritating in terms of limited you in terms of the way you leveled up. You could only level up when the game allowed you to level up and three quarters of the game was a tutorial. Other than that, the game was good. Final Fantasy 13. They like the main characters. They look like generic J-pop stars. But the game was actually good. The game was actually a very good game. Good music, stages, telling of the story, pacing, nice costumes. My personal favourite was the Mass Effect armour that you could get in it. It's a good game. It was a very good game. I like the way they did a lot of incorporations of different characters. You had even Ezio Auditore di Forenza from Assassin's Creed 2. His outfit was in there. So it was a very good game. The weapons, the characters, the, the muggle as the bow and arrow. It's a good game. It's a good game. I enjoyed it. Far Fantasy Lightning Returns. Now, this game looks godlike. Even though I don't like lightning, this game looks good. I don't like lightning. Yeah, I said it. I don't like lightning. Who is lightning? She's a moody cow for no reason. Why is she the way she is? There's no reason. What, because she lost her parents? So that's why she's a moody cow. I'm sorry, even if you lose your parents and you're trying to be grown up for your sister, you're not going to be like that. Because when she first came in, she was godlike for no reason. She was godlike. She was busting up the entire guard with technology that baffled the entire guard. She even had a gun blade. Where'd she get a gun blade from? Everybody in the whole guard was baffled as to who's this character, why she got a gun blade. Nobody understood this character. Whatever. Personally, I don't like her. Never got her, never understood her. And they've always un uh, explained characters. Like, if you take a character like... Cloud, for instance. Cloud was the way he was because he never knew who he was. He couldn't remember. He was basically a grunt, a soldier, as in a soldier soldier, not a soldier as in first class like Angeal or Seprof or any of those kind of characters or Zack. He was just a grunt soldier. But he looked up to Zack. Zack helped him. Zack sacrificed himself for Cloud. All that time, Zack was fighting all the people from Shinra. Cloud was on Zack's back. It's like people that are in a coma. Even though they can't move, talk, they can still absorb information. Cloud was absorbing information from Zack. So he got a lot of the character from Zack. When he awoken from the macro poison and being reborn with the Sephiroth cells and Genova cells, you know, he embodied what Zack was in his interpretation of what a hero was, which was Zack. And what he knows about Soldier, which is basically being the highest ranking fighters of the Shinra Empire. So he kind of got it twisted as the game went on. He developed his character. He started to find out who he was and what he was. Beautiful. We understood him. Same thing like Squall from Final Fantasy VIII. Was basically a dickhead from the beginning of the game. But that was because he loved too much. You know, he lost his mum, Rain. He didn't know his father, Laguna. Didn't know his sister, Elone. He forgot her. They used GFs. GFs took away your memory. In exchange for power, you got the power of the GF. He left his memory. And his interpretation was, if people don't like me, I don't get close to people. If you don't get close to me, I never have to feel pain from being loved or losing people. So it's easy to be an asshole because that way I'll be on my own. I don't need to live for anybody but myself. Character explained. You know why he started off as an asshole and he turned into a lovey dovey boy with Renoa in the end? Because he was a guy filled with love but he didn't want to get hurt. Understandable. Lightning. Who is she? For no reason. She's the way she is. For no reason. And she's godlike for no reason. You know why characters like Squall and Zell and S Cloud are godlike? Soldier. Seed. Fighter for his whole life. You know why those people, they've been trained in that art. Lightning. Godlike for no reason. Whatever. It's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. We got her as a soldier rebel in Final Fantasy 13. We got her as a goddess protector deity in Final Fantasy 2. 13 2, the DLC, which is godlike DLC by the way. Lightning Returns. She's come back as, I think she's the savior. She looks pretty cool though. She does look cool. Because the character's still a blank canvas, 
I'm still open to this character. I'm still open to their final interpretation of Lightning. Entertain me. I see Lightning as Elsa Scarlet, fairy tale, brilliant anime. Check it out. I see what they're doing with Lightning. Pretty cool. It's a good idea. There was a video the other day, nine minute video, it was a brilliant video. I just asked you one question Who is Lightning? Because if you know, let me know, because I don't know. You've had three games, darling. Three games. I still don't know who you are. That's no good, man. And Square still won't let her go. They will not let her go. From time you can keep on reinventing the character over and over again. And you still don't have an identity for this character. That's when you know that you have a problem. They want her to be remembered. Like the character from Final Fantasy XII. What's the character's main name? You can't tell me because you've forgotten. I can name all the Final Fantasy characters. Cecile. Furion. Cloud. Squall. The Onion Knight. The Warrior of Light. Zidane. I could practically name all of them. That's this is just off the top of my head. Squall, as I said, Quistus, Zell, Terra, Sid, Vincent, Luffy, Ares, Ivelin, the Emperor Palamecia, Garland, Sephiroth, Tidus, Yuna, Renoa, Garnet. I feel like I know these characters. I feel like I've been on mad adventures with these guys and they're all old war buddies, nakama, comrades that I've been through epic battles with. Lion, I don't feel that. I don't feel like I've even been to the chip shop with her. Well, that's impossible. But I don't feel like I've been on any adventures with this character. She's not endearing. I don't feel any connection. She's like the only Final Fantasy character in my whole life that I've played Final Fantasy. And I've been playing Final Fantasy since Final Fantasy 3. And I've always felt a connection with the characters and a bond. And I like the character. I understand them. Lightning, I don't understand her. I don't like and I don't really care for her either. They say that, oh, she's a strong, motivated, independent woman. That doesn't mean nothing to me, man. That doesn't mean nothing. It's Pointless talk to me. You might as well be talking to a, a, a drain, a drainage pipe. You're going to tell, okay, you're going to tell me characters like Jill Valentine, Ada Wong, Kasumi, Makoto, Chun Li, Kami, Riku, Ares, Nina, Julia, Yuffie, Tifa, Bayonetta, Trish, June, Asuka, Ochimisia, Garnet. You're going to tell me those aren't strong female characters. Powerful, independent characters with personality. Oh, of course, we can't be forgetting characters like even Lulu, Fang, Vanille. Those are good characters. Strong female characters with personality that you were endeared to. Lightning had no personality man. You can be void of emotion in the game and still come across cool. She never came across cool. She just came across as a character that was godlike for no reason. So the only godlike that she's got is the status that she's been given by the creators. Cloud, Squall, all those kind of characters, they've got godlike status from what they've attained through historical events in their one game. Lightning has had Free. This bitch has had free games, man. Sorry, Final Fantasy character Lightning has had free games, man. Free characters only get one shot, only get one roll of the dice. This character had free, and still she's had no payoff. She's not in my heart, man. She's forgettable. I promise you, within two years, this character will be forgotten, man. Just like the character of Final Fantasy. 12. I'm still trying to remember his name by the way. Well, at least I remember it, so it was a heat in Final Fantasy 12. But other than that, yeah. We're going to see what Final Fantasy Lightning Returns is saying. The game looks godlike. And I don't hate Lightning. She is practically Elsa Scarlet now. So it looks good. I believe they can do a good job. So hopefully they'll do good justice by the game and what the Final Fantasy franchise is. And then we can just sweep this underneath the carpet, enjoy the game, and then just get to Final Fantasy 15, man, and see some Noctis. Yeah, me going on. So, that's what I think, personally.